One of everybody's favorite Astros joining us now in the booth. Let's look back at Lance Berkman. Tremendous career. Most of it as an Astro and uh, he hit a lot of meaningful home runs extra base hits do a lot of walks good fielder. We had many many big moments with Lance Berkman in the batter's box. For the Astros. You know what the Puma was simply one of the best in the game. And uh, this was one of the great moments right here. We all knew he was going to make that catch. He knew it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right. I had it all the way. <laughs> Lance, uh, good to see you again. We don't see you enough. Well, I, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me up. It's good to be here. You've been uh, very busy winning a championship, uh, TAP 4A championship for Second Baptist. Tell us about that experience. Well, it's great. I mean, the kids, they played excellent at the right time, and uh, we got it done. So I was excited for them. They worked hard, hard all year. They endured me and all and all my shenanigans, <laughs> so uh, they deserve the championship. Did you use every motivational tool you could think of? Well, you know, I got a chance to play for a, a couple of really good coaches slash managers. And so I took a little bit from Coach Graham, and I took a little bit from Gar, and I took a little bit from Tony LaRussa, and I tried to kind of roll it into my style. And and so, uh, yeah, I mean, it, you, that's one thing about coaching. You got to be flexible. You got to try to figure out how to reach each kid on your team, and you can't do it all the same way. Some kids need to be uh, patted on the back and some kids need to be kicked in the rear and you got to know when to do what to who all I could think of is did you did you drop the the Wayne Graham in the right spots for the kids absolutely one of the first scrimmages <laughs> of the year we played terrible and I fired a clipboard right next to one kid's head and I got their attention and, and so uh, didn't have to do too much of that though it's a good group of kids well you could always call on your trusty assistant there Andy Pettit now Andy Pettit's got some magic fingers we he started calling pitches later in the year and it, it, it made a big difference for us he uh, he took control and uh, really was a big reason why we were able to win the state title Altuve with a flip to first he gets Billy Burns and uh, as you watch these Astros you probably have not watched a whole lot but we'll look at uh, home run leaders with Bagwell Berkman Biggio Wynn, and Glenn Davis and you've seen uh, the Altuve's of the world the Springers and maybe a little bit this year you've probably been Busy that you haven't been able to watch too many games. What do you think of this club? I mean, I, you know, it's exciting uh, to watch this group. They, they've got a bunch of uh, really uh, fun players in the prime of their career, just entering their prime. So, um, you know, I, I, every time I get a chance to see them, it's it's good baseball. So, I hadn't had a chance to watch them too much this year because of the the coaching gig, like you were talking about. But uh, always enjoy it when I can watch them. Here's one of the things that really intrigues me because. There's there are some parallels here. You were on a couple of clubs that did not get off to good starts that wound up getting into the postseason. Won the World Series team. Late in the year, you had a lot of ground to make up. How tough is that? How did you guys go about getting that done? Well, the big thing in the big leagues, really, or anywhere you're playing baseball, is, is about your pitching. And if you can get your starters to get on a roll, uh, that that's the way you do it. That's how you make up that ground. And, and you know those teams that you're talking about, we had great starting pitching and an excellent bullpen. And um, when you get off to a bad start, and you got Oswald and Clemens and Pettit as the top three in your rotation, you know that uh, at some point they're going to put together a string of starts that's going to get you kind of jump started. And that's exactly what happened. So they start shutting guys down. You get a little momentum. You get a little good feeling going in the clubhouse, and, and that's really kind of how you battle back. May I just say it's it's always good to have pitching, but you guys also had the killer bees and some others in there, so there was offense to go with it, and I think that blend is always a key. Oh sure, I mean you, you know you're not going to win at a high level if you can't do a little something offensively, and you know one thing about uh, that you really can't say enough about I think in, in a team setting is just how guys play together and the chemistry and the enjoyment of coming to the ballpark every day and. And uh, just you know you're around each other so much you've got to kind of like the guys that you're playing with and if you do that's a big help and the teams that I was on here were always great in terms of the personnel and we all got along and, and enjoyed playing together. Once you guys started rolling in 05 and, and for that matter in 04 things weren't all that rosy in the first half of the season. Then uh, that late season momentum is really fun for the fans to watch. How about as a player though you really couldn't sit back and enjoy it that much. Right? Well it helps though you know. Um, when you're when you're having a fight like that the last month month and a half of the season it really prepares you for what you face in the playoffs and so a lot of times you see those wild card teams that are scratching and clawing scratching and clawing for a month and a half all of a sudden you get into a playoff series and well it's just the same kind of baseball we've been playing so I think that it helped us um, you know in 04 I think we went 34 and 10 in our last 44 games to clinch on the last day of the season and then we clinched on the last day of the season again in, in 05 and 
just that that mentality of our backs are against the wall carried over into the into our playoff runs and it was beneficial. Sure was. Lowry butted for a hit. Now Stephen vote with a strike and uh, today's game. Uh, where do you stand on the bat flips and things of that nature. Well you know me I'm I'm a little bit more subdued and um, I don't like all the demonstrative things. Um, uh, you know maybe it's old school or whatever but when I was growing up my dad was like look if you had a home run act like you've done it before and if you've hit it you know now I see guys celebrating singles and <laughs> I just you know I mean maybe the pitching is so good now that when you get a single it's cause for celebration but you know good grief you laid the bat down <laughs> left handed yeah I mean yeah, I, I just think about I think about like like Jeff Bagwell and I mean it, he was almost disdainful if he got just a single you know that was just <laughs> no big deal but uh you know, it's coming back to the dugout. Exactly, exactly. But now it's just, you know, I don't know. I don't like to see it, but I can't do anything about it. Lance, congratulations on your championship and to your team as well. Thanks I appreciate it. Thanks, Browning. Thanks, Ash. You're the best. You're the best. Uh -huh. Don't be a stranger. All right. Thank you, guys. Seven nothing, Astros.